Okay, welcome back to another episode of Active Every Day. Today we're gonna to take you through a lower body workout. We're gonna focus primarily on squat technique and we're gonna be using both a bench squat variation um, or just a freestanding squat variation and I'll highlight the differences in just a moment. Let's go through our typical warm up that involves mobilizing our spine. We start with our neck, with our neck circles. As always, feel free to follow along exactly as I'm moving or go at a pace that suits you. You can always pause the video and restart at your own pace. So we get our five to 10 reps in the neck. I'm gonna be doing five reps for each of these exercises just to keep the video moving along. Again, I'm teaching you some foundational movements you can be using every day to just feel better in your body, promote your fitness, reduce limitations, just generally be a healthier person. But more reps or less reps, that's gonna be based on what you need. And that's something you're gonna learn on your own as you practice. Okay, so trunk cars, that's the second one. Big old circles, all in the upper. Then we go down to our pelvis and we do two moves. Give it that side view. We wanna do those pelvis tilts. All right, we're kind of sticking our butt out and then kind of tucking our butt under, okay? Especially for those of us that have stiff hips, lower back stiffness, maybe even pain around these areas, light, gentle, daily movement can help reduce pain. Okay, and turns. I wanna turn my pelvis, turn my pelvis, turn my pelvis, turn my pelvis, okay? And we'll get about 10. Excellent. It is a lower body strength day, so let's do some of our lower body moves. We have our ankle cars. I'm gonna sit down today to do them. Again, you have the option to stand or sit. So just a big, complete circle through the ankle. Okay, let's go, I'm gonna go five each direction. Okay, here's four, and here's five, changing direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent. Let's go ahead to the other side, same idea. Hold that leg up, create some circles at the ankle big of a circle as you can get. You want to feel these muscles in our lower leg working. And if we're holding our leg like this, doing a seated version, you'll feel them moving underneath your fingers. That's a good sign. Okay? We've got so much muscle spread out all over our body. And it's helping us do a lot of things. Not just walk around, but helping us balance. Stabilize. Strong, mobile ankles help our knees function better with less restriction or pain. Help our hips function better with less restriction or pain. Okay, and for the hips, in our get up and move workout, we have a step out and a step in. Let's do five each. Step out and step in. Keep the chest forward. Raise the hip out to the side and back to the front. Here's four and here's five. Five for the other side. Up, out, and down. Up, in, and down. There's one. Here's two, here's three, here's four, and here's five. Okay, squats. Here are two things you can be thinking about. There's lots of things to think about, but let's keep it basic. Two things, keep your feet flat, keep your chin and chest up. We have the option to sit completely, bench squat. So I'm gonna sit all the way down and then stand all the way up. Or, if you're interested in a bit more of a challenge, don't sit on anything. Just squat and stand, okay? I'm gonna do the first couple of sets seated, uh, and then I'll do a few sets standing with no bench. And if you don't have a bench, you can use anything. You can use a chair, side of your tub, a couch, side of your bed, any object. But I'll say, the lower the object, the bigger the range of motion our knees will go through, 
the more our muscles may have to engage at that depth, it's gonna help us be stronger when we're in lower positions, it's gonna help us maintain mobility. And if our joints are articulating through bigger ranges of motion, it's gonna help spread the synovial fluid in our joint. That's the lubrication in our joint. That's what helps our knees stay hydrated and helps them move with less stiffness and pain. Okay, here are our squats, our regular stance squat. How do you measure? About shoulder width apart or where you generally feel comfortable. We're gonna do 10 reps. Stand all the way up, sit all the way down, feet flat, chest up, stand up, sit all the way down. There's two, here's three, here's four, here's five, arms wherever you want. Six, doesn't really matter. They can move with you, seven, here's eight. They can move opposite, <laughs> nine, here's 10. Excellent. We're gonna take about a 15 second rest. We're gonna set up for the next position. We're gonna do a close stance squat. What does that mean? Just any closer than your regular stance. That would work. That would work. That would work. For me, I'm gonna challenge and go as close as I can possibly go and see if I can still do my squats. My challenge for you is just any closer than what you're gonna define as your regular stance. Okay, let's do 10. Here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four. Again, sitting all the way down, if you're doing the bench squat, there's five, there's six, here's seven, here's eight, here's nine, and here's 10. Excellent. Take a 15 second rest. For our third set and third variation, we're gonna go from our regular stance to a wider stance. And just like the close stance, any modification, any adjustment wider counts. So that would work, that would work, that would work, that would work. It doesn't really matter, just that we're a little wider, okay? Also, as your feet get a little wider, it's a little nicer on our hips and knees if we let our toes turn out just a little bit. So just let your feet kind of move outward as your feet get wider. Let's do our reps. Wide squat, here's one, two, three, four, five, here's six, here's seven, Here's eight, here's nine, and let's get that last rep. Here's 10, fantastic. So we've done three variations, regular stance, close stance, and wide stance. Depending on our stance, we may feel a different challenge with our squat. One stance may feel easier, one stance may feel harder, and that's normal. What I would say though is, it's important to explore different stances because our feet will not always be in our preferred position when we're doing tasks in life. We're always moving our feet, always in a different position. Sitting down on a toilet, standing up from a chair, all these different experiences in life that mimic a squat, our feet are never in the exact same position. So reducing limitations, putting our feet in different stances and practicing our squats. Let's do one more set together today. And then as always, I would encourage you, challenge yourself, spend more time doing more reps and sets of each variation. Okay, I'm gonna use no bench for my last set. So this would just be a regular squat. You have the option, bench squat or freestanding squat. Let's go regular stance. Here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four, Chest up, feet flat. Five, six, seven, eight, here's nine, and here's 10. Excellent. Those are the sets I'm gonna take you through today. I'm gonna keep the video short so you're not hanging out on here too long. Just giving you some insight, some encouragement, some motivation. 
little variation on how you can practice your exercises. Stay active every day. We'll see you next time.